Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be solving the assessment problem 1.3 of the same book that we used in our previous videos. That is um, Electric Circuits by James W. Nelson and Susan A. Redial. And in this question, uh, we will be basically uh, finding the charge, total charge that is uh, accumulated in a terminal when a current is given for at a specific time so to solve this uh, so let's read the question the current at the terminals of an element in figure 1.5 this is a figure 1.5 which is a basic ideal circuit uh, with two terminals and though there's a voltage drop and a current flowing uh, when the current is um, equal to zero the current is equal to zero when T is less than 0, time is less than 0, and the current is 20 times A is to minus 5000 T ampere when T is greater than or equal to 0. And we need to calculate the total charge in microcoulombs that is entering the element at its upper terminal. So we need to calculate the charge that is entering 1. So in order to calculate charge, um, uh, we need to find the formula for charge with respect to time. And that is um, I is equal to dQ by dt. Uh, if we rearrange, we'll get dQ is equal to I dt. And if you integrate both sides, we'll get Q is equal to uh, integral of I dt. So we found the, the expression for charge res with respect to current. At a, space, uh, at a constantly changing time at a, I mean, at a, when time is changing. And now um, in order to find the total charge, we need to integrate from zero to infinity with this current, which is when time is greater than or equal to zero means zero to infinity and the current is 20 times e raised to minus 5000 t this means um with respect to dt right so if we integrate 20 is basically a constant and um, the integral of e raised to minus 5000 t is basically e raised to minus 5000 t divided by the differential of minus 5000 t which is minus 5000 and the intervals are from 0 to infinity so after we solve for the intervals we'll get something like e raised to 20 by minus 5000 uh, and then we'll solve e raised to minus 5000 t 0 to infinity and then we'll solve this 20 by minus 5000 in times e raised to minus 5000 into infinity um, times sorry minus e raised to minus 5000 times 0 so e raised to minus 5000 is into infinity is basically e raised to infinity so e raised to infinity will become as 0 and e raised to minus 5000 into 0 is basically e raised to 0 which will become as 1 so we'll get something like 20 by minus 5000 times 0 minus 1 which is basically 20 by minus 5000 into minus 1 we'll cancel the negative signs so and we'll perform a bit of calculation so we get something like 1 by 250 coulombs remember we had to use, we had to find in micro coulombs so for that what we'll do is multiply um so one coulomb is 10 raised to 6 micro coulombs so we will just write 10 raised to 6 we have six zeros by 250 micro coulombs and if we calculate we'll get something like 4000 we'll get something like 4000 microcoulombs 
and that's the answer that we are looking for thanks for listening and see you in the next video